Here on Gas Tax, I'm trying to help you guys figure out how to organize your dream garage. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. And today you're joining me for part four of the OmniWall organization system. If you haven't checked out the other three videos about the OmniWall setup, be sure to check those out after this video. But let me get you caught up to speed. About a week ago, I ordered the Warrior, a Weekend Warrior XL package from OmniWall. And what that gave me was a good solid base of products I needed. And from there, I laid it all out on my garage floor, figured out what I had, and then placed a second order for some additional items. Let me show you what I've done so far. So I've organized this back wall right here. Don't worry about the things on the countertop. That's our project for today. And then I've organized all of my DeWalt tools on the side of my cabinet using the OmniWall organization system. I've installed panels right here and that's what we're going to be setting up today. These are the accessories I have left over from both orders of mine and we're going to be utilizing some of them today. So sit back, relax and let's organize that wall space. So looking at the products we're going to be using today, it is the socket and wrench organization. So without further ado, let's put them up. So we have the socket organization with all the different size uh, drivers. I've done red for obviously standard, blue for metric, and then we got the wrenches over there. This is for pliers, and this is for tablets and phones and whatever else you got. Um, obviously, it's not ideal to put them down low because then you'll be taking up some counter space. And maybe this is a too big option for inside your actual uh, cabinet set. So the cool thing is, these are magnetic. So if this doesn't work out, I can also just magnetize them to the actual backboard and see how that works. Saving a lot of depth space um, and yet still getting that organization. For now, I'm gonna use these uh, and we'll see if it actually gets in the way. So I have that old set. Let's start organizing. Toolbox is mostly empty. Uh, I decided to go with the one, two, three, six point sockets instead of, I don't know, the 12 point. So that's all the sockets that were included in the kit. Obviously, there's some empty spots here, um, which to an OCD person will drive you insane. But you know, craftsmen actually, you can order individual sockets to fill that space up if you would like. Uh, I don't like the Craftsman wrenches. I like the ratchet wrenches. So I have a set of those. Let's put those in. All right, guys, let me show you what we got. So here are my uh, two wrench sets. Um, it looks like there are more metric uh, wrenches than standard wrenches. Anyways, these are the ones that can't fit. I'm uh, a little bit disappointed that uh, this one doesn't fit. So if I was OmniWall, I would err on the side of bigger than smaller because a couple times these are falling off. Um, obviously, if you pull them, they will, but while just organizing, they fall off because they don't actually set in. So I will have to take a, a Dremel or a file and file those a bit see, wider because um, that's, that's not going to be fun. All right, I had this uh, holder here that actually can fit now. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in and organize it. Uh, 
guys, here is my organized wall. Um, and then I just reorganized my drawers because some stuff came out. So random stuff that I use less than all of this stuff. Uh, again, more random stuff. And then if I need the bigger wrenches, they're down here. What I could have done with this system is use the holders that came with the sockets already and just hang these babies with the, the hooks. Uh, similar to these hooks right here or exactly the same as these hooks. I could do that um, I want to see how this system works before I start messing around with that and also I like the hanging the This way better from small to big Well right now what I'm gonna do is actually take this whole uh, Metric tray off and just use the socket holders and magnet against the wall so you guys can see the difference between the two setups that actually looks a lot cleaner for this setup right now and keeps those things below visible. So that's what it looks like there and that's there. The one thing you do lose is all this uh, storage for the extended drivers, the actual ratchets and then the adjustments here. But what you could do essentially is get one setup like this and then one setup like that. That way you can use this side to uh, at least organize everything here. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to leave the um, metric like that, and then I'm gonna leave the uh, SAE like that to see if that actually gets in my way. And if it gets in my way, clearly I don't wanna use it. Um, and then we'll just use the magnets like that. And guys, I have all my tools already organized. This is a solution to help you if you want to um, organize your current toolbox. Right now, I use the Sonic uh, tool setup where tool organization is perfect. Uh, these are my daily tools. These are tools I use to rebuild my 2004 R32 behind me. If you haven't checked out any of those videos, be sure to check out that playlist. I'll leave a link below. But this is how I keep my tools organized. And I understand not everyone can afford or wants to buy new tools. This whole setup here was uh, about $18,000, the cabinets and the tools, where this setup here is a lot less, especially if you have your tools like your driver set here. So my whole goal is to show you what's out there and, and help you guys organize your garage how you want to do. Be it you want to use your current tools, or be it you want to use new tools. So, that's it for today's video. I'm going to actually install those and organize those on the next video. So be sure to leave me a like, and uh, let me know if you have any comments below, which one's actually better. And then I'll see you next time. Thanks again, until then.